writing log of m to the base p as x. Okay? Which means m is b to the power x. Yes or no? That means m to the power n will be b to the power x. And x. Which means log of m to the power n to the base p will be n x. And what is x itself? What is x itself? Proved. Is that fine? Again, this property is these all three properties are very useful for calculations. They are used in calculations using of using log tables. Okay? In log tables, your base is taken as n. n. Next property, property number four. Log m to the base n can be written as log m to the base b by log n to the base b. This property is called change of base property. We'll come to that. Yeah, we'll come to that as well. Now, can somebody prove this? Can somebody prove this? This is useful in those cases where you cannot figure out the direct power of n which will give you m. For example, if I ask you, what is 64 to the base 16? Now, if you do 16 to the power 0, it is 1. 16 to the power 1, it will be 16. 16 to the power 2, 256. It has crossed 64. So how do you know in between which is the power on 16 which will give you 64? So what we do is, we use this property and we figure out a base which contains 16 and 64 both as its powers. That's 4. So what I do is, I write 64 to the base 4 by law. 16 to the base 4. So this is 3 by 2. So when you do 16 to the power 3 by 2, that's where you get 64. Okay? So in order to find such answers, this property is very useful. Yes, proof for this error. I don't accept anything without proofs. I'm like GHR. Proof for this. Chain rule. Chain of base. Chain rule will come, don't worry. Chain rule will make your life very easy. Yes, Aditya, write something. Good. Okay, so let's quickly do the proof for it because we have to cover a lot of ground. Next class, I have to start with calculus anyhow. Okay, let's say I start with left hand side, sorry, right hand side. I call this as x. So can I say m is b to the power x then? Yes. And the denominator, let's say log n to the base b, I call it as y. So can I say n is b to the power y? Yes or no? Yes or no? Now, b to the power x, can I write it as b to the power y to the power of x by y? Yes or no? Yes or no? B to the power x, Aditya, do you agree with me? Ronak? B to the power x, can I write it as B to the power y whole raised to the power x by y? This y and this y will cancel off? Yes or no? Now B to the power x is your m, B to the power y is your n. So can I say m is actually nothing but n raised to the power x by y? Yes or no? That means log m to the base n is x by y. And x by y is nothing but x is log m to the base b, y is nothing but log n to the base b. You may have other ways to prove it also, I am not denying it. There are other ways to prove it. This is a fine change of base property. This property would be used when you are asked to differentiate such functions of log which are not having bases as e. Then you can convert it to a base of e and then perform the differentiation. Don't worry, differentiation and all, we are going to take up next class. Next class is very vital. Calculus is heart and soul for you in maths and physics as well. And to a certain extent in chemistry. So please
please do not miss out the next class which is going to be on introduction to calculus. How many of you are already introduced to calculus? So 99% of people sitting here are not aware of calculus. Anyways, can I raise this? Next property, property number 5. Property number 5 says log m to the base n is log 1 by log n to the base m. This is very easy to prove because you are trying to say log m to the base n into log n to the base m is 1. Which can be proved if you write this as change of base like this. And you use the same b over here as well. Okay? Is that right? So if you change the position of the term which is logged and the base, your answer would be reciprocal. Are you getting it? If log 4 to the base 2 is 2, then log 2 to the base 4 will be half. Next property. The next property which is the sixth property is basically governed or basically a broader version of the third property. If I say log m to the log m to the power of n and base is to the power of r then you can write this as n by r log m to the base p base is also to the power of r yes m is also to the power of n base is also to the power of r then you can write this as n by r log m to the base p prove it I have already told you the graph for any x when the base is between 0 and 1 and when the base is greater than 1. So that depends upon what is b to the power r value. Right? Is it greater than 1? If yes, then the graph will be like this. If it is between 0 and 1, the graph will be like this. Done. Done. Tripan, can you come up and do it on the board? Can you catch? Okay, so he has started with LHS. He is a left handed person. Yeah, I'm going to 
If you have understood this property, I am going to throw some questions at you. Let's see who is able to solve them. First question. Can I clear these properties? Any questions in any one of these eight properties which I have dealt? Siddharth, Neha, clear? Sudha, 